Hi, welcome to the second video in our introductory R programming course. You can find the link to the course playlist in the description box. In this video, we will show you how to get started with R. For the best coding experience, there are two things you should get. R and something to make writing R easier, like an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. When you download R, it does come with a simple code editor, but getting an IDE will make coding much easier. Programming, which is what R provides versus using an IDE, is like writing in Notepad versus writing in Microsoft Word. With Notepad, you have no help and limited styling options like font size. On the other hand, Microsoft Word has many useful features that help make writing easier and nicer looking. Examples are autofill, autocorrect, error flagging like misspellings and grammar, styling, you name it. IDEs come with features like code completion, syntax error highlighting, debugging, and much more. We will see these in action later. So our IDE of choice for R is what's called R Studio. And this is what we will be using in this course. We will give you two options for getting R and R Studio. So you can either use a free online resource or you can download and install R and R Studio on your computer. Option one is the easiest option since little or no setup is required, which is perfect for beginners. Also, all your laptop needs to be able to do is to connect to the internet. However, installing on your computer will give you a lot more control. In this course, we'll mostly use a downloaded version of R and R Studio, but the experience should be exactly the same online for what we're going to recommend to you. So let's start with the free online resource. To access it, we will go to the Posit Cloud website. Posit is the same company that made R Studio, and that's why we chose it. All right, let's go. We are now in the Posit dot cloud website so you can just type that in your browser or you can find a link to it down in the description box so you need to create an account in order to access posit cloud we'll do this by clicking the get started button to your bottom left and it should show you its different plans there's a free version and then there's uh, different paid versions but we're mostly interested in the free version so there is a limitation a uh, want to point out for the free version, you get only 25 compute hours per month. And for this course, I think that should be enough. But if you're looking to do more with R, then just keep that in mind. You only get 25 hours per month. So we're gonna click learn more under cloud free. And it's gonna take you to another page that outlines those free features again. So if you wanted to read a little bit more about, for example, compute hours, what that really means, because it's a, it's a little bit complicated. It's not just like how many hours you're running something, but it's also how much compute power you use. If you do want to find out more, just um, take a look at that. And instead, we're just going to click sign up here, and it will take you to their sign up page. You can either enter like your email address and create a password, first and last name, or you can sign up with Google, GitHub, or Clever. Oh, I've never heard of that one. I should Google it later. Um, but after you sign up, it will take you to like a verification page where you're supposed to verify your email address. I believe it will, if I remember correctly, it's gonna send an email to your email address, then you verify from there. And after you've verified it, it will take you directly to the Posit homepage or Posit Cloud homepage. I've already created an account, so I'm not gonna go through that process, but um, I'll see you on the other side on the Posit Cloud homepage. All right, so I've logged in to Posit Cloud and this is my Posit Cloud homepage. If uh, everything went well for you, you should be seeing the, the same page as well. But if you got your account verified, but it didn't take you to this page, all you need to do is to go back to posit.cloud and log in from there and it should take you to this page. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to click the new project button top right there, that blue button. 
and then we're going to click new R studio project and it's going to create um, a new project for us. It will take a little bit of time to show up. So I might just uh, skip over this part. It's finally done. Actually, it wasn't that long, but I'm just a little bit impatient. So this is what our studio looks like. Well, our studio online, but the downloader version looks pretty much the same. So the first thing we're gonna do is rename it from untitled project to something else. I'm gonna paste in what I already had written. Intro to R right there. And we're pretty much ready to code. Good job. but. Just a few housekeeping items. There are things that you won't find on the downloader version that you find here. So we're gonna get out of this uh, project by clicking your workspace um, next to the project name or your workspace in the left navigation bar. And it will take us back to the home page. but now we have intro to R showing, which is great. And when you come back here, you just have to click that to go back to to the project, but click on your username at the top right there to see all your different stats. So you see the compute hours, which is the most important thing here. I have 0.4, you should have uh, less than that. I've just been playing around with some stuff today, but you can also find the option to log out on this pop-out. And I do encourage you to log out whenever you're not using Posit Cloud. But yeah, we're ready. We're ready to code. So you can move on to the next video and we will show you how to use R Studio. In this section of the video, I'll show you how to download and install R and R Studio on your computer. So I've navigated to posit.co. Posit is the same company that made R Studio. The company actually used to be called R Studio, but now it's uh, called Posit. I find that this is the easiest place to get the links to download both R and R Studio. We're going to go to the Download R Studio button at the top right here and just click that. And on the page that opens up, we're gonna scroll down a little bit and click the other Download R Studio button, bottom left. Right, and then it would take us to the page that we're looking for. So it has two instructions. First, install R, and then secondly, install R Studio, and it gives us the links for those. So we're gonna click on download and install R. Then it pops up a new page. This is the R CRAN website for R Studio. So under download and install R here, it's going to give you three options depending on your operating system. Linux and three options for Linux, Mac and Windows. So I have Windows, so I'll be able to show you the full installation for that. As for the other operating systems, I will quickly click through one of the Linux ones and the Mac one to show you what that looks like and what exactly you need to download. So let's start with Linux. I'm gonna pick Ubuntu, because I think that sounds pretty cool. So click that. It's gonna open up for you um, a page with instructions for you to follow. So just follow the instructions provided and you should have R after that. All right, so I'll go back to the previous page and go open up download R for Mac. And again, it opens up a new page and under latest release here, we're looking for dot PKG. So you've got two options to the left here. You've got one for Apple Silicon, M1, M2 Max, and then you've got the older Intel Max. So just click on the one that applies to you and it's going to download that .pkg file. And once it's downloaded, open it and it'll open an installer for you and just follow the instructions to, to install R. The default settings should be just fine, so don't worry about having to read through everything. All right, so we're gonna go back out and go to download for Windows. Just gonna click that and it'll open up subdirectories. I'm gonna click base here since we're installing for the first time. And you see download R 
4.3.1 for Windows. So the numbers here are the version of R. So if you're downloading this later, this should be a higher number and that's, that's okay. So we're gonna click on that. You see that there's a .exe file being downloaded here to the bottom left. And it's pretty quick for me, but that .exe file is an installer. So once it's downloaded, we'll open it up and it will pop up, pop up. <laughs> yeah, okay, this part takes a little bit of time. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's asking me firstly, what language English is totally fine with me. So I'm gonna click okay here. And it's letting me know that since I'm a user, uh, that it requires administrative privileges and that's fine. You may not get this if you're just working on your computer and you're the only user, but next. And of course, uh, terms and conditions, we all read them, right? Yeah, so we're just gonna read through them and click next there. So it's showing me where it's going to install this. And if you're okay with this path, then that's fine. But uh, just be careful, be careful if you're a user like me that it's installing somewhere that you have access to and you don't need like administrative access. But we're gonna accept that. Just click next. 64 bit, yep, next, and next, next. Create a desktop shortcut, that's good. And that should be okay. And then it's gonna start installing now. So while it's doing that, we're going to go back to the POSIT website and install our studio. So here we've got the button that says download RStudio desktop for Windows. I've been told that it automatically detects what operating system you have and it puts that there for you so it's easy. But just in case it's not your operating system here, in case that's wrong, we're just gonna scroll down to all installers and you've got all the different operating systems and the download options for that. So if it's wrong up there, just look at this and click under download, the one that applies to your operating system. But I'm gonna go back up and download that. Just click on that button and there's another exe file being downloaded. So another installer being downloaded. And I'll check if R is done. Yep, R is done. So we'll just click finish here. That's great. And we'll just wait for R Studio to install. R Studio has been downloaded now. I'll click on that so it can open up the installer. It may take a little bit of time here and we'll just wait for that. Right, there we go. So the installer has popped up. We'll click next here, showing where it's installing and that's fine. I see everything is fine here. So we'll click install and it will start installing. So this takes a little bit of time. I'm just gonna skip over to the end once it's done and show you what exactly it looks like. The setup is done. It took um, one or two minutes, roughly. So we're gonna click finish here and we've got R and R Studio now. So just to check, I'll go to my search bar here and search for R Studio. You don't have to open R, you just need to open R Studio. Click that, open it up and it will take a little bit of time, but there we go. There we go. Yeah, we're ready to start coding now. Awesome, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll learn how to use R Studio here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.